Okay, how about a look around camp? Here's my hammock. That's where I'll be sleeping tonight. The bug net. There's an under quilt in there. Be nice and snug. Trees are a little far apart, but I got a, a ridge line that kind of solves that problem for me. Got a bag of kindling. Got my crossbow. It's just a cheap one, but probably killed close to 10 deer with it. Maybe getting up there. Maybe I'll kill another one tonight. Ground here is all field stone that's been tossed into the fence row, so I started making a hearth. I got a little bit of firewood. I got beans on this side. Got nice green alfalfa over here. The next field is beans again, and then it's standing corn. I got, I think the deer are gonna be out here in this alfalfa. They don't really seem to eat the beans too much. When they, especially when they got all this nice alfalfa right here. So probably about dark, they'll come out in the back of this field and start eating. My stand is over there between the corn and the beans, two fields over. Seth's stand is on the edge of the hay, which is kind of where I want to set. But Seth's stand is more of a rifle stand. It's kind of far back from the woods for the crossbow might work they do come down there there's a little hollow on the other side of it they go down in that probably work i think maybe they'll come out of the corn and walk across the beans over to the self alpha so i could probably set my stand over there see if they walk underneath me they do like to i don't know probably need to be at the back of this field right here someplace i think i do have a little tree stand at the end of this fence row to see if that's still up. Looking pretty good. I know they're out there. I can smell them. All right, you want to see how we do on the target? Thank you. Let's go see, shall we? Nice monarch out here. Don't get in the range, monarch. Supposed to be heading south. Get out of here. To Mexico. Yeah. Bit to the right, huh? I shanked it. Typical. Would have hurt that deer though. I'm standing in front of Sustan now. Got the alfalfa. Back over there to where I'm camped. Wood, wood line here. I like to come out right in this corner. A soybean field. The corn on the far side. My stand is right up in there in that fence row. Kind of hard to see. Very tempted to set here in Sus stand. I know they're going to be out probably way over there. But they'll come up here. I don't know. A stand we built this last year and put it in. It's closed up right now, but we can get in there if we want. We really decided yet. It's 
still early, still very early, raining, windy. This wind doesn't die down, it's gonna be a problem for me. With the old crossbow, I think I'll walk over to my stand and at least check it out. I haven't been up in a while. Time to go check her out, I think. Just walk across this field over that way. Check it out. And here we are up in my stand. Climb up the old antenna. Nice tight hole. Squeeze through. She's about five, six years old now, so she's showing some age. Just all, all untreated. But doing alright. It's all full of walnuts. Kick some of them out. We got the corn over here. Probably out there right now. They like the little meadow right here. We got these beans over there to the alfalfa and sus stand. And my camp across the alfalfa. I guess I'm kind of hoping they're gonna come out of this corn and come down. You can see a trail there in front of this field over to the alfalfa and eat. The wind's really picked up. It's really too windy probably for me to shoot my crossbow. Unless it was right underneath me, but looks like it might rain again yet too. Blowing in another rain cloud. That ought to be fun. I won't melt. But when this field is alfalfa, this stand is a dinner maker. She'll feed you. This year? I don't know. I haven't been out here to say. I've clearly been walking across this field. I'll probably set up here until dark. Unless I get blown away. Let's see what happens. I decided since it was going to rain to come over here and set a sus stand. I'm kind of liking my odds over there, but. Jeez, my chair just collapsed. Wonderful. Perfect. Uh, we're gonna have to get pretty close. The wind's in our favor, blowing from the woods here into my face, so that'll help. But it's a little too strong right now for the crossbow. We'll see how it goes. I think it's gonna calm down before they come out. It really looked like it was gonna rain, but I'm second guessing myself. But here we are. Try this. Right into the beans, like I said they wouldn't. Typical. That's just the first one. Kind of buck and pink. It's cute. Well, what did we learn? The deer were sure more interested in the soybeans than I thought they would be. I was wrong there. Did see that doe and fawn eating in the alfalfa. And we saw that more mature buck. He still had a small rack, but his body was bigger. He might have been three or so. Like all the other deer we saw were not much older than two, if the smaller. Several bucks. Well, I learned that I was right about Seth's stand being too long a range. Like if it was half again closer to the woods, I would have had a shot on that buck. For sure. I probably had rifle shots on 10 different deer from that stand tonight. And then my stand, they were right underneath. I think it was maybe two younger bucks mainly and then three really small does came out later right underneath that stand and into the soybeans they moved from the soybeans into the corn a little bit but they were really chowing down on those soybeans 
I was wrong there. And the alfalfa. I didn't really see the back of this other field. I wonder what was back there. I didn't bring food because I thought I was going to be eating a heart. So I had to go get some food. And I left here after dark. And there was a herd of does on the end of the field closest to the road, the other end of the field. Well, maybe I need to hunt the other end of the field if I want does. Well, it seems like they're coming out of the old farm lot. So I could, most easy thing to do would be just to hunt my stand and maybe consider buying a buck license. I don't know. Set in that and hope for a little doe. Could move my tree stand onto the forest edge in the middle of one of these fields. Maybe put it on the edge in the middle of those soybeans. That might be interesting to think about it tomorrow. I think that's about all I learned.